Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your bad actress to hear Bram hold back her tears as she thanks her husband and best Tikola Waleajie for being a great support system. And she also went ahead to thank everyone for the role they have played so far. So hear Bram couldn't hold her joy when she says thank you Tony Titans, thank you Nigerians, thank you all the cinemas, thank you everyone. Yes, I already beat my last record. Thanks to my bestie and partner, Kola Wale Ajiemi. Thank you, thank you. I love you with all my heart. And just some hours ago, Tohi Bram was spotted spending time with her family. And this actress husband shared a lovely video of the family stepping out after the protest. In the video, Kola Wale held his one-year-old son, Iriolua's hands. And it seems Tohi is the one behind the camera. She's not seen in the video, but her voice was heard. And as Ariel walked ahead with his father, the actress called out her adorable son, but he ignores her. She keeps calling out to him, but he would not answer. Even when she reminded him that she's his mother, he continued to walk with his father, who burst into laughter as soon as he heard his wife trying to guilt trip their son. Iriolu Ajiemi is totally a daddy's boy. Whilst the Mitokwa Ajiemi shares a nice and close relationship between Abraham, and yes, they do have an enviable bond. Tony Abraham is indeed the queen of box office. Today, Tony Abraham and Miwa Signature made an appearance at Sky Mall, where Miwa Signature bought 100 free tickets for people to watch the film Fate of Alakada, the party plan. And Tony also shared that this has to be one of the biggest news. Fate of Alakada is killing it in all cinemas. Thanks to everyone. And please, how much do they sell aeroplane? This was just a joke. But the movie Fate of Alakada, the party planner, is still showing in all cinemas in Nigeria and it is performing very well. As we had earlier reported, in the very first week of Fate of Alakada, it already broke records. Right after the lockdown, the cinemas in Lagos and other parts of the country were opened for business after a long lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As expected, cinemas all over the world have experienced low patronage as a result of COVID-19 and many of them were even shutting down their branches. And the prediction from Nigeria Cinema is that the industry might not pick up until later part of the year. However, the comedy movie, Fate of Alakada, The Party Planner, which is co-produced by the popular Yobra actress Tony Hebram and Film One Production, has invalidated that prediction as the movie reportedly grossed over 30 million era in the opening week alone. For observers, this is a major feat considering the fact that even before COVID-19 and in the history of box office in Nigeria, only a few movies have done over 20 million in their opening weekend. This movie was directed by Ikaio De Kassum. The Star Studded movie continues the hilarious journey of Yetunde Tony Hebram alongside the Instagram comedian Brother Shaggy and it features other A-list celebrities including Davido, Peruzzi, Odunadi Adikola, Kobams, Messi AK and a host of others. It is the fifth installment in a fan favorite Alakada film franchise. Also, the head of film production at Film World had this to say about this development. The performance of Fate of Alakada has taken everyone by storm. We knew it would do well, but nobody predicted it would do this well, especially after a terrible pandemic. It is a sort of a revival for the cinema culture. For the post-pandemic era, Toy is phenomenal. Also, the vice president of Genesis Cinemas, Okwe Ajayi, said that Fate of Alakada has kick-started the cinema culture post-COVID-19. This is what the vice president said. I think the movie is the best we have seen since we reopened, particularly in the Southwest. Generally, it's been a slow start, but we are seeing increased confidence as people are getting more used to it. So with a few more blockbusters from Hollywood and Nollywood, things will get better and it should be back to normal by December slash January, he said. Well, right now, Fate of Alakada is still showing in all cinemas nationwide. And Tony Hebron couldn't help but show her gratitude to everyone and also give a special thanks to Kola Olia Jim, who is her husband and her bestie for being a great support system. And she says, thank you Kola Oli, I love you with all my heart. Yes, Tony is known for being the queen of box office and her latest movie is Fate of Alakada, the party planner. And she's also known for featuring in Bloggers Top of this. Her other movies include Dare Afi 2020, Small Chops 2020, Elevator Baby 2019, Don't Get Mad, Get Even 2019, Made in Heaven 2019, The Millions 2019, Casanova 2019, Bling Blue Oceans 2019, Name Bay 2019, The Ghost and the Tower 2018, Seven and a Half Days 2018, These Guys 2018, What Just Happened 2018, Alakara Reloaded 2017, 
SOE 2017, Hakunde 2017, Mentally 2017, Tattoo 2017, London Figure 2017, Wives and Track the Revolution 2017, Celebrity Marriage 2017, Okafor's Law 2016, What Makes You Think 2016, Love is in the Hair 2016, Alaniba Balabake 2013, Ebi Mini 2013, Alakada 2013, and Shalafek Bami among others. She is also a multi award winning actress. This year alone, she has won the 2020 African Magic Astros Awards for Best Actress in Africa and also 2020 Africa Choice Awards for Best Actress of the Year. Our other awards include Best Supporting Actress, Statue, African Magic Vias Choice Awards, AMVC 2018, Best Actress, Alakada Reloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, Eloy 2017, The Best Female Act in a Joint Entertainment Awards, NEA 2017, Best Actress in Hollywood, Mokri All Youth Awards, Maya 2017, The Best Supporting Actress, Feature Film, Akunde, Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Indigenous Actress Nigeria Entertainment Awards 2014 and Best Actress Alakada Ben TV Awards, among others. And of course, she has been nominated for other awards as well, including Best Actress in the Supporting with Diamond in the Sky English, Best of Nollywood 2019, Best Actress in the Supporting with SOE, African Movie Academy Awards, AMA 2018, and Best Supporting Actress Yuba, a B meaning Best of Nollywood Awards 2013, among others. Tay began her acting career in the year 2003, but then took it up professionally between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from her boss, Bookie Wright, who is also a popular veteran Yoruba actress. Though he first featured in Bookie's movie, Dube Bembo, and subsequently she began to star in other films until she rose to stardom. As Tay grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The first movie she produced is Ala Jota, and there are other plans, and she also had other plans to produce. Ala Jota Reloaded. Today, Tony is one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her, serving in Okafor's Law and working with the movie director Omoni Uboli was highly instrumental to building a brand. She's not relenting and she has been consistent in making a name for herself. We have come to the end of this episode. We are overly excited to hear Brown. Thanks everyone for the role they have played so far. And most importantly, thanks her husband and bestie, Kola Wole Aji and me, for being a great support system. And she says, thank you, Kola Wole. I love you with all my heart. We hope you enjoyed it. And learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.